So we are officially less than 12 hours away from the release of the AGL LR Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku and Int LR Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta Dual Dokkan Fist banners on the global side of the game. They are dropping tonight, July 8th at 11 p.m. Eastern Time or 8 p.m. Pacific Time. And as such, in this video, I want to give you guys a quick preview of everything you need to know about this Dual Dokkan Fest, about these units, their banners, their animations, the side units, the new categories, the discounts, and so on and so forth to hopefully help you guys decide whether or not you want to spend your hard-earned Dragon Stones to try and pull them, or if you'd rather save your stones for something else that's right around the corner that might be even better than these guys, which we'll talk about a little bit later on in this video. But uh, with all that said, let's jump right into it. Actually, before we do that, I do want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Madara Accounts. They are a seller of a stacked global and JP accounts. And since we have the anniversary banners coming out soon, I've actually been getting a lot of questions from people asking me where they can go to buy an account with a ton of stones already. So Madara Accounts is definitely the place to go. Feel free to go down to my description and check out their website. And if you find something you like, you can use my discount code TIGER for 20% off your entire purchase. Uh, one thing to note is that since it is a very busy time, it might take a little bit longer than normal to process your order. So please allow up to 12 hours for everything to get done. All right, but there you go, Madara Accounts. Go check them out. And uh, now let's get right into the video. And before we check out the you know, banners for both the LRs, I think the most important thing we should start with are the animations. So I'm gonna throw on some headphones and let's start by watching the animations for the LR Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku and then we'll move on to the Vegeta as well. So let me turn up the volume just a little bit and enjoy. まだ Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. It's been it's been a couple days since um I last I last watched these and you almost forget just how good these animations are man, especially when the active skill, or sorry, not the active skill, the uh, revival skill happens and the OST comes on and then the active skill after that. Oh my god, dude. Um, yeah, alright. Well, 
it's gonna be a hard act to follow up, but I do think Vegeta also has some very nice animations of his own. Uh, obviously, I do prefer Goku's, I, I gotta be honest, but, but Vegeta can hold his own. Okay, so let's pop over to the Vegeta animations here. And uh, I'm gonna pause this. Oh, nope, I'm gonna pause that. Let's go to the beginning. And here we go. So like I said, man, Vegeta's awesome too. Like easily top five animations in the game. Goku's probably top three. It's between him and the two LR Gogetas, you know, the fifth anniversary LR and also the new Gogeta on JP. But uh, yeah, these animations are just ridiculous. But now let's move on to the banners because we can't spend too much time here. Let's pop over to the Goku banner. And obviously this was the banner that JP got, but globals should be exactly the same. There shouldn't be any changes. And uh, there were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten featured units. And of these ten featured units, the ones that I would say are standouts are of course the AGL LR Goku. Uh, Fizz LR Bootanks from the Worldwide Celebration last year is still absolutely amazing still. A top top tier LR and uh, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku is still very very good same goes for the AGL LR Gohan and uh, even though this guy before we found out about his Extreme Z Awakening he was not such you know a great inclusion now that we know he's getting that Extreme Z Awakening um, he's gonna be a great pull for anybody that doesn't have him and I would say Beerus is still top tier um, oh, of course, the side unit, this uh, Trunks and Goats, sorry, Gohan and Piccolo. I don't know where I got Trunks and Goats in. Gohan and Piccolo is uh, a great side unit too on this banner. And this Goku's not bad either. Super Saiyan Blue Kakan Goku is also, like these guys I would say have aged a little bit, but still very much usable. Uh, that's the banner. Overall, I think it's still very good. I would still give it like a, you know, nine out of 10, I think, because look, we got one, two, three, four, four Dogon Festival exclusive LRs. AGL LR MUI Goku is arguably the best unit in the game right now. This guy is arguably a top five LR, top 10 at worst, but I would say top five still. And uh, these guys, I think, would probably still crack the top 10. So yeah, there you have it, guys. Very, very good banner, in my opinion. Now moving on to the Vegeta banner, um, this one, not quite as good, not quite as good. I've seen a lot of complaints for uh, some of the featured units not aging as well, which I completely understand, but we still got Vegeta himself, of course. We got Vegito, LR Vegito, obviously the other half of the Wu Tanks Duel Dokkan Fest, and he is like absolutely amazing man he's probably like the second or third best unit in the game right now and uh the golden frieza and gohan very good 
We also got LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, who while not as good as Super Saiyan 4 Goku, is I think still solid, man. I think this guy gets a lot more hate than he deserves. He still hits pretty hard. He's got a nice active skill, uh, some good defense, so I definitely wouldn't sleep on him. And uh, you know what? LR Cell, underrated in my opinion. Kefla, really, really good TUR. This Vegeta, solid. And uh, I guess these three would be the ones that aren't nearly as exciting if you pull them. Our boy Hit got done dirty, man. Let's be honest. They did hit really, really dirty, and I really hope we get a new hit in the future. Or a super OP Extreme Z Awakening for this one, because he deserves it, man. I think he's such a dope character in the show, and the way that his unit was built is just its not right. So right now, he's not very good he's definitely one of the worst Tokon Fest exclusives in the game in my opinion and then we have Fizz Android 17 who can do some good things he's a good support but um he's definitely aged quite a bit as well and then we have AGL Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta that transforms into uh, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta and I don't know why they didn't give him an Extreme Z Awakening you know, as well, because Goku got one, right? If UI Goku got one, I feel like this guy deserved that Extreme Z Awakening treatment too during the anniversary, but so far on JP, he still does not have his EZA, but I'm sure once he gets that EZA, and I don't think it's gonna be too far in the future, um, he's also gonna be on the same level, if not even a little bit better than NT UI Goku, so uh, with him, it's definitely a waiting game, but uh, at the moment, He's not like super impressive anymore, definitely usable, but not super, super impressive. So the Vegeta banner, in my opinion, and I think in the eyes of most people that look at these two banners, is the inferior banner, although it does have some units that are better, like the Vegito, right? Um, but if I were to recommend someone to spend more stones on one banner over the other, I would definitely say the Goku banner has more value compared to the Vegeta banner. So if Goku's banner gets a 9, Vegeta's banner gets a 7.5 to 8 for me. You know, still really, really good. I mean, we still got the four Dokkan Fest LRs, but two out of the four Dokkan Fest LRs, actually no, three out of the four Dokkan Fest LRs are inferior to the LRs on the Goku banner, namely Goku, better than Vegeta, um, Gohan better than Cell, and Super Saiyan 4 Goku better than Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Okay, so there you have it. Those are the banners. Now, one thing that's very important to keep in mind is that these banners will definitely have super multi-summon discounts like what you see on the screen right now. And even though it might be a little bit different from this, it's going to be similar. So for the last Dual Dokkan Fest, we got on Global. The first step was a full multi for 30 stones. Step 2 was a full multi for 35 stones. Step 3 was a full multi for 45 stones. Step 4 was a free multi. And then steps 5 to 7 were 50 stone full price multis. But then the fourth multi is free. And that just repeats over and over again for the remainder of the discount period. And for every multi that we did, we also got three Dokkan Fest A or B tickets depending on which banner we're summoning on. And uh, these are basically just free summons. So. Yeah, the Goku and Vegeta banners should have the exact same kind of setup, so extra discounts for the first three steps, a free multi, three tickets per multi, and then three plus one plus tickets for the rest of the summons. So of course you're getting a lot of extra value, especially for the first four steps where you're only spending uh, 110 stones, right, for four multis plus almost another full multi from the tickets. So... Yeah, that's going to be awesome. Looking forward to that for sure. And uh, I guess the next thing we got to do is actually go through the details for each of these units. Now, this could take a while. If you guys know exactly what, you know, the LRs do as well as the side units, then uh, feel free to skip ahead to the end of the video where I will talk about some, you know, recommendations for what I think people should do with their stones. But uh, starting here with the AGL LR MUI Goku, the leader skill is Miraculous Awakening or reps of Universe 7 Category Q plus 3 
HP, attack, and defense plus 170%. And of course, Miraculous Awakening is a brand new category. So we're going to pop over to that real quick. It consists of characters who awakened an incredible power due to critical circumstances. And the leader is LRMUI Goku. And uh, just taking a quick look here, we actually got some really good options for this category. You got the AGL Gohan. We have uh, the Tech Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Of course, SSB Vegeta. Int LR Gohan, who doesn't have an EZA on Global yet, but should be getting it soon. We got LR Cell, uh, STR UI Goku, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. And uh, I'm not going to go through everybody, of course, but we got some pretty good options. So it's a bit of a smaller category, but not bad at all, in my opinion. So that is the new Miraculous Awakening category. And obviously, for team building purposes, you can use Goku as a leader to combine Miraculous Awakening and Reps of Universe 7. And then his 12 key super attack causes colossal damage and has a high chance of performing a critical hit. And his 18 key super causes mega colossal damage and also has a high chance of performing a critical hit for one turn. And that is a 50% chance. So um, both Goku and Vegeta have this feature where they essentially have this built in 50% crit chance, which means that when you're, uh, you know, building their hidden potential system, you should definitely go for additional attack over crit since they already have such a high crit chance built in, right? And then for their passive, it's attack and defense plus 150% great chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks. That's 70% indefinitely. And then key plus one up to key plus five with each attack evaded, including super attacks plus an additional defense plus 30% within the same turn after evading an attack, medium chance of launching an additional super attack, and if HP is 50% or less at the start of the character's attacking turn, after the character receives attack 3 or more times in battle, revives with 70% HP recovered when the character or an ally attacking in the same turn is KO'd once only. So that portion is the revival skill where if you have less than 50% HP and then you receive three or more attacks during battle and then you get KO'd, then you'll be revived and healed back to 70% HP. And then for his active skill, it can be activated when HP is 50% or more starting from the fourth turn from start of battle once only. And the effect greatly raises attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage to enemy. So essentially it's like an extra super attack. His links are shocking speed, prepare for battle, godly power, kamehameha, tournament of power, fierce battle, legendary power, and categories are realm of gods, universe of rival saga, pure saiyans, reps of universe 7, goku's family, kamehameha, turtle school, miraculous awakening, and powerful comeback which is vegeta's new category. And for his defense boost of 30% it is calculated separately so once he evades an attack, he'll get a total boost of 225% defense within the same turn, which is very, very good. So you combine that with his 70% chance to dodge, and overall, he is actually a really good defensive unit on top of being able to output a pretty ridiculous amount of damage. So that is LR Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku for you. Now, moving on to his counterpart, which is the int LR Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. His leader skill is Powerful Comeback or reps of Universe 7 category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 170%. And popping over to the Powerful Comeback category, it consists of characters who returned to the heat of battle with even greater power than before. We got uh, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta as the leader. And then we have, you know, some pretty good options here as well for Vegeta's new category, there's UI Goku, we got the new Gogeta from uh, JP, which is not available on Global until probably November, and then uh, the Gohan from the Bojack movie, LR Jiren, uh, UI Goku, STR Gogeta, Blue Boys, Gogeta, Max Power Roshi, and for the TURs, there you go, a lot of really good options, so I would say they did a pretty good job for both Goku and Vegeta's new categories. I don't really have too many complaints here. I'm sure there are a few characters or units that could fit in either category that are missing, but uh, 
Honestly, I'm fine with it because they both also lead reps of Universe 7, so he can combine the two for team building. And uh, for his 12k super, colossal damage and high chance of performing a critical hit. And 18 uh, key super, mega colossal damage and high chance of performing a critical hit. So once again, additionals all the way in their hidden potential systems. For his passive, he gets attack and defense plus 150%, reduces damage received by 10%, plus an additional damage reduction of 10% within the same turn with each attack received up to 30%, he plus one with each attack performed up to five, and then medium chance of launching an additional super attack. And if HP is 50% or less at the start of a character's attacking turn after the character receives attack seven or more times in battle, revives with 70% HP recovered when the character or an ally attacking in the same turn is KO'd once only. And uh, yeah, overall, I would just say Vegeta is still really good, but Goku was just built better. You know, he was just built different. Oh, I forgot to talk about the active skill. Uh, active skill can be activated when HP is 50% or more, starting from the fourth turn from start of battle once only, and it causes mega colossal damage to all enemies. And links are Prodigies, Royal Lineage, Godly Power, Prepare for Battle, Term of Power, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. And categories are Universe Survival Saga, Realm of Gods, Pure Saiyans, Full Power, Reps of Universe 7, Vegeta's Family, Siblings Bond, Worthy Rivals, Bond of Master and Disciple, All Out Struggle, Miraculous Awakening, Powerful Comeback, and Gifted Warriors. And uh, that is, I guess, everything you need to know about Vegeta. Oh, he does have the costume here, so let me show you. He loses his armor, which is uh, pretty cool. And that is one advantage he has over Goku. Goku starts off shirtless. Vegeta has a shirt and then loses it. So there's that. <laughs> and uh, as I said, guys, Vegeta's awesome. They're both great, great units, but I would definitely have to take Goku over Vegeta in this, uh, you know, in this comparison. And we also have to take a look at the side units, the Tech, Gohan, and Piccolo, which I believe is available on the Goku banner, and then the Angel Golden Frieza and Gohan, which is available on the Vegeta banner. So starting with the Goku and Piccolo, or sorry, Gohan and Piccolo, leader skill is Bond of Master and Disciple, he plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%, super attack greatly raises attack for one turn, it causes supreme damage with a medium chance of performing a critical hit. And then passive is attack and defense plus 20% at the start of each turn up to 80% plus an additional attack plus 120% and great chance of stunning the attacked enemy when performing a super attack. Performs a critical hit when the target enemy is stunned, disables enemy's guard when performing a super attack, and reps of universe 7 category allies key plus 2 and attack and defense plus 20% if there is another reps of universe 7 category ally attacking in the same turn. Links are Cold Judgment, Brainiac, Solid Support, Kamehameha, Speedy Retribution, Tournament of Power, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Universe Survival Saga, Bond of Master and Disciple, Reps Universe 7, Joint Forces, Kamehameha, Battle of Wits, and Powerful Comeback. And their additional attack and defense plus 120% is calculated separately for a maximum possible boost of attack and defense plus 340% when all conditions are met. So a pretty powerful side unit right there in the Piccolo and Gohan. And then for the Frieza and Gohan, their leader skill is Battle of Wits category, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%. Super attack raises attack for one turn, causes supreme damage, and seals super attack. And passive is attack and defense plus 120%, attack and defense minus 30% for enemies attacked by the character super attack. Great chance of guarding all attacks when performing a super attack and reps of Universe 7 category allies key plus 2, attack and defense plus 20% if there is another reps of Universe 7 category ally attacking in the same turn. Links are Cold Judgment, Brainiacs, Infighter, Speedy Retribution, Shocking Speed, Tournament of Power, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Universe Survival Saga, reps of Universe 7, Joint Forces, and Battle of Wits. So that's it guys. Those are the four new characters we can expect from the banners. And uh... They're all good. Goku is the best, obviously. And that's essentially everything you need to know about this Dual Dokkan Fest. Those are the categories. You guys saw the animations. They're ridiculous. 
and uh, you guys saw the discounts, which should be really, really good. So there's a lot of value in there for sure. And uh, now I guess it's time to kind of talk about, you know, whether or not it's worth it to summon for these guys. And I think most of you have already made your decisions. I think most of you have already, you know, come to the conclusion that, yeah, I'm definitely going to be summoning, regardless of what you say, Tiger. I just wanted to you know go through everything once again to confirm my decision but most people are going to be spending probably most if not all of their stones on this anniversary which is okay you know that's not a terrible decision but one thing i do have to make sure to remind all of you guys is that um we got the worldwide celebration coming up at the end of august right now it's you know beginning of july so that might feel like a pretty long time we are still about two months away but the worldwide celebration lrs typically are better than the anniversary lrs because if you think about it from jp's timeline jp gets the anniversary lrs in what like february and then they get the worldwide celebration lrs in august or september so that's like a seven eight month delay in between whereas for us it's only two months but by you know the JP timeline, the dual Dokkan Fest for the Worldwide Celebration should be much better than the anniversary dual Dokkan Fest. So um, if you look at last year, the blue fusions are really good, but I would argue that Vegito and Blue Tanks are much better. And I think this year it will be the same situation. So if you want to make sure that you have stones for the dual Dokkan Fest at the end of August for the Worldwide Celebration. I would definitely save some stones. I wouldn't spend everything. We will be getting quite a few more stones throughout the celebration. So like this celebration that is the anniversary. So um, you can spend everything you have right now and start saving from there. But that's just something I think people should keep in mind because those banners are coming as well. So just don't you know, screw yourself over. The choice is ultimately up to you. I do think these banners are very much worth summoning on because of all the great units on them, because of the discounts, because of the tickets. The Worldwide Celebration will not have tickets. There will be still 3 plus 1 discounts, but no tickets because uh, it's a joint celebration with Global and JP. So there's also that. But um, yeah, just keep the Worldwide Celebration at the back of your minds. But feel free to spend a ton of stones on this dual Dokkan Fest. They are very, very much worth it. And uh, you, you guys know your boy will be splurging a lot. I mean, we got over 3,000 stones right now. I'm probably going to spend most, if not all, of that 3,000. So uh, a lot of summons to come. We're going to be streaming tonight for our initial stream. We'll have a special guest on the channel. You guys already know, Android18, my girlfriend, she'll be there. So, uh tune in if you can for sure and hope you guys enjoyed today's video i know this was a long one but hopefully it was worth it hopefully this uh helped some of you guys out in making your decision and the last thing i'm gonna do is just open this up and leave you guys off on some of the best animations in the entire game thank you guys so much for watching Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you liked today's video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.